So much. We recently actually got an espresso machine here for the office and I'm loving the coffee. So good. Let me know if you've got any pod recommendations. So today's video is a bit different. I wanted to do a more casual sort of a catch up chit chat, a video about perfumes that I wore a lot recently and also some that I would love to wear um, more this year than last year because I didn't really get to wear them enough. So this some that I just think like I've ne neglected them a little bit so I wanted to chat to you about that and also I need to sort out and refresh my shelf a little bit so I'm going to do a little bit of decluttering and show you also my samples uh, drawers that I also need to declutter because I feel like I need a fresh start for the new year by the way, the noise that you're hearing, it's um, my dog just chewing on um, yak chew. And by the way, this year has not started that well for us um, because my dog, sadly, he has suffered a spinal injury. Um, nothing happened like per se, but just one night he started shaking. It was terrible. It was awful. So we've been quite stressed about that. Now he's on pain meds and that said, we just have to wait to see if it goes away. So I'm just keeping him close so that he feels a bit reassured and okay. But yeah, it's a tough, tough start of the year for us. Let me know how is your start of the year? Are you feeling energized or is January actually a bit of like, um, you know, when you're expecting so much out of a new year, it can be a bit overwhelming. So let me know if that is your feeling, because that is, I think, what I'm feeling a little bit. It always happens in January for me. I'm really excited for the new year, for new things, and then it kind of hits me that it's just too overwhelming, too many expectations put on it. But I'll tell you uh, about that a bit later. Let's now first talk about some perfumes. Actually, I can tell you about this one that I um, showed you in my last video. And you're like, oh, what is it? Because it was a secretive, not launched fragrance, but now it's launched. So the one that I've been wearing a lot and loving, absolutely just enjoying it, it's Guidance by Amouage. I got a sample in Cannes and I've been wearing it a lot. I have got two samples and I'm going crazy at them. This is such a unique fragrance. It's hyper strong and long lasting, which I love. It's a, you know how Amouage does, just really interesting scents for me. This is one of those more pretty floral fragrances with an amouage twist. It's even a bit powdery to my nose. It's beautiful. It smells pink, definitely, but not in like a pink way that like a Prada fragrance would smell like. It's completely different, super unique. I find it addictive. I really love how strong it is, but not harsh. It's strong, but really beautiful, just stunning fragrance. And everyone is still my favorite. I wore this a lot, even just last week, shooting star starlight. I just can't get enough of it. I wore it to date night with Mattia yesterday. Oh, I thought the scent. It's so intense and strong and just the strength and sweetness I adore in a fragrance. Uh, and the next one, I'm surprised that I wore as much is Mercurial Mercuria Cashmere from Electimus. This is a scent that just really surprises me. It's very, it's niche, but it also smells somehow a bit designer, but like a niche designer slash designer. Elevated take on a designer scent. It's a um, idyllic, like white flowers, sexy scent, but it's also very plush and sensual. I love how this smells and it really comforts me. I just wish it lasted a bit longer, but it's a beautiful scent and I've been grabbing it and really surprising myself because yeah, it's just a profile that maybe I don't gravitate towards enough 
you are the most you listening to me <laughs> next up is de los santos from byredo i adore this scent again longevity and projection is amazing which for byredo scents sometimes can be an issue let's be honest but this scent i actually am going to wear it today because i haven't applied anything and this year i'm wearing my fragrances okay i've got so many i'm applying so much oh the woodsiness the medicinalness of it the earthiness the tea in here oh so dry makes my mouth water i don't know what it is let me know if you uh, also experience this if a fragrance is dry makes my uh, mouth water straight away i don't know what it is so delicious so unique very like unisex if you like something that is super woody, there are some, you have to you have to try it. And um, some fragrances that, you know, I've got a huge, huge collection and I don't get to wear some fragrances enough. For example, I might think in my head like, oh, I love it. Well, I do love this fragrance, but I won't wear it for some reason. I just, in my everyday life, I guess it's the same with fashion. Sometimes we love the idea of something and then we don't wear it. Or another scenario is that you just like don't see it. I don't see it in my collection. When I go and uh, try to find a fragrance for the day, it never grabs my attention, but I do love the fragrance anyway so i should be wearing it more that is why i'll show you later i've got like a little marble desky thing so i can put out fragrances for the week so i'm going to do that with you as well just that makes me wear my fragrances more and i really need to wear them more one fragrance is versace crystal noir <laughs> this fragrance i really adore i really enjoy i wore it recently and i thought i love it so much why don't i wear it and the truth is sometimes with um designer fragrances i just i love them but i think oh i don't want to wear them because like i'm a perfume collector and i should smell niche but the truth is I adore both and I think both have so many things to offer niche and design as a Chris. So I love this fragrance, why not wear it more? Versace Crystal Noir, it's gold, it's coconutty, it's clean. I really, really enjoy it. Next fragrance that I just, I need to force myself to wear because I adore it, but I don't know why. I just don't wear it enough. I wear it, but not enough. Kirke from Tiziana Terenzi. This fragrance, I love it. Again, it's woody. All the Tiziana Terzi fragrances I have tried, they are quite like woody at the base. And this is a very positive, fun, fruity fragrance for me. I don't know if it's maybe I've got Andromeda as well. And they're quite similar. I know that like the notes might be different, but the vibe is very similar to me. So they're kind of maybe interchangeable. So maybe I should wear Andromeda and this one and see, because maybe I should sell one of them because I just don't get to wear them enough. But I love the scent. Some people said to me that it lasts forever. On me, it doesn't. So I don't know what's the issue here. Maybe it's my skin, but yeah really really nice fragrance and i want to wear it more let me know what fragrances you want to wear more this year and you have kind of neglected next one is this one i haven't worn it in a while and i love this this is creme de queer i actually had like a fragrance consultation online during the pandemic and this is a fragrance i love the most and chose from consultation it was a phoenix beauty consultation they do i don't know if they do them anymore actually maybe it was only the pandemic thing but you could like chat with a fragrance advisor and then got sent samples and then you just pick and choose your fragrances this fragrance is like a bomb it's um a leather fragrance but not a smoky leather not like a leather jacket scent but more like it's now it's a bit smoky opening it but when you actually wear this scent it's very balmy it's like like a polishing butter sort of a balm like that you use on leather that smells a bit of leather but not fully but it's like balmy and very gentle and so spicy so calming it's a very light leather very unique oh just smelling it makes me think i want to wear it today but i can't because i'm wearing de los santos maybe i should mix this is a scent that i just don't know why i don't wear it's a btk scent 
um, I'll link those all down below because I know you guys enjoy it. Like, thank you also for appreciating me linking everything and also Matty doing, showing you the bottles in my usual videos because that is something that obviously takes additional time and effort apart from just filming. But I do love that, like some of you just say, oh, thank you so much because I get to actually see the scent. The bottle helps me to buy authentic uh, bottles, which is also, that's why I do it as well, because I think there's so many fakes out there. It's good to know how the authentic bottle and everything looks like, so you avoid fakes. So thank you so much for appreciating it. <laughs> Next one is this one. I bought it two, three years ago now. Like, look at this. Yves Saint Laurent Manifesto. I love this scent to death. I love it so, so much. Why don't I wear it more? I don't understand myself sometimes. I wear it, but not enough. Not to the extent of me loving the scent. I love it so much more than I actually wear it. So this year, this one, hold me accountable. <laughs> I am going to put a good dent into it. Do this scent, it's like, Good time, vanilla, smoky, very out, out, like clubbing, naughty <laughs> ideas. It's just such a fun scent, absolutely love it. And the one that I'm really, really sad is actually Frederick Malm, Masque Ravageur. This scent, I love the idea of, I love the scent. I just don't find enough spaces, places to wear it. That's the issue. I don't know why I don't wear it more often. I love it on my husband. I also love it on myself. I wore it many times in the past, but I feel like I want to wear it more because I love it, I absolutely adore it. But sometimes I find it a bit too overwhelming. So wh what I want to do is try to wear a bit less of it. So maybe one, two sprays and see how I go because it's a very intense amber animalic scent, but the quality is there. I just love what Frederick Malm does, but maybe my, my taste is changing a little bit and um, I'm, because I can see that I'm liking more woodsy, fresh fragrances recently. So maybe that is why this one will take a little break and then uh, I'll get back to it and loving it a bit later. So now let's grab you and I'm going to pull out some new fragrances for the weekend. Show you that marble thingy. Here's my marble set. This is so good. It's real mar marble, really heavy. Got it for like 20 quid at H&M Home. Um, and then I was wearing Kayali, Sweet Diamond and Pink Pepper. Ylang Ylang from Amisalef. Look at this sun bottle. Coco Porcelana. Milk Love scent. And then testing loads of the Amouage new fragrances. I really like Search and Guidance the most, I think. Although, you know, I love a lot of them. And this is what my husband has pulled out for the week. So Viking, really nice, spicy. Viking, right? Yeah, I'm just forgetting. Um, Baccarat Rouge, Givenchy Gentleman uh, Privé. This is amazing. Encre Noir from uh, Lalique. And this is Mandola from Soradora and also YSL. Uh, I think this is the Eau de Parfum, if I'm not mistaken. So that is his. Now let's, let's choose a mine and I need to really sort this out a little bit. As per our conversation, I'm going to pick two from the ones that I want to wear more of and put them here already. I'm also going to grab this one because I adore it and I don't wear it enough. It's 51, Roja Essence. Look at this purple pattern. <laughs> also, how I've kind of done this is that niche go on top and then kind of designer by designer and then random niche and then all the rest it's kind of a mess i want to have less fragrances so it's more like you know i go through them every single month so that i don't keep anything that i don't want to keep or don't use enough because i think this already is a bit crazy let's be honest and i know some creators have got 
tons more fragrances but for me i could have more not like you know like oh my gosh i could have more fragrances or buy more because it's kind of like what i do but i don't want to because this is already crazy <laughs> this is what i'm allowing myself and that's it that's it no more okay monica no more <laughs> so one in one out really is the rule i also am absolutely loving this but i've worn it quite a lot so let's try maybe this one well tried because i don't wear it enough this is a similar vibe i would say like uh, de los santos if you like de los santos like woody spicy very very nice so i've got some like vanillas some leathers some woodsy spiciness and some floral prettiness i'm also choosing ysl other toilet i'm obsessed with this concentration of this one i think that's enough that gives me some time to also play with the other scents if i want to add something during the week to this little concoction i've changed my mind i also decided to back add guidance to this because i'm obsessed with this one from amour so it's coming here and by the way i love how smooth the sprayer is on this really really cool guidance is back by the way look at this how cool is this emma's postcard which i got with my order it's so fun so let's put it back here and there we go and moshi's little face it's a painting um and it's from a photo that we took of him it's really 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 cute i need to take this off but yeah, I love it so much. And then my guidance article um, and the silver button and nothing there. So I need to also sort this out. And whilst I'm talking about like sorting out stuff, it is this corner <laughs> that needs sorting out. So this is our office but I think I want to make it more cozy this year. This, this is one of the plans that I put down and I'll show you how I do like my plan for the year. Uh, and this situation needs to really get fixed. And what our plan is, because this is all our camera, lighting equipment, and it really needs to just go away and be more hidden. So I think we're going to do a little, um, I'm doing this. <laughs> Uh, curtain and uh, like a hidden curtain thingy with um, this little track thing that we need to find a curtain that is long enough and just kind of put it here so that it's more cozy and just make this room a bit more enjoyable to work in um, because we love this room so much we did this paneling ourselves um, a couple months back we really enjoy it but it's a really nice space to work, really empty kind of. This wall is also like, there's nothing on it and I have no idea what to do here. I'm not like a goddess of interior design. So if you have any ideas, if you're good at that, let me know what your suggestions are to make this room a bit more cozy. We've got like a lounge chair that usually goes there that I work in and then matchy section here with the computer and everything so and this is the sample drawer i did organize it a bit um i think a couple months back so it's an organized mess <laughs> i know what's going on here we've got brand um this is parfum de mali then you've got mise en bdk frederick mal juice box like different different things in here Duplicates of my Amouage scent. And here we've got Emerson's, for example, by Killian. Uh, and here we've got different designer scents. And actually, very nice that I found them again because they were supposed to be out. This is, oh my gosh, the lip combo that I am loving at the moment so good this is lip maximizer from dior and guys i have been obsessed with these for years i remember buying my first one when i was still in high school and ugh, i just love the scent of this and it is kind of like dior hypnotic poisony the scent of it and it really makes 
it's like a lip gloss but it makes your lips are just a bit bigger and just oh stunning so loving these they need to be out but i was cleaning and i put them here and then i've got loads of just um sets of different uh, scents like green roitfeld javoy just tons of tons of javoy samples lush like, oh, this very warm just amazon clearly there just a lot a lot and then I've got a bit more of candles here. I thought the samples were in here, but obviously not. And loads of just boxes. Maggie just visited me. What did you say? She the said it smells so weird here. I mean, nice. Yeah. A little bit like uh, apteca. How is it? A pharmacy. A pharmacy. See, de los Santos from Viredo. That's why, right, because I say it smells medicinal. Kind of does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a little bit like pharmacy and something else, but yeah. first that comes to my mind is pharmacy. So yeah. Tonic, we're soaking our tonic. Fridge. Yes, tonic is uh, yeah, our favorite is, drink. This is MS. <laughs> I showed them that like. You're gonna hide this. Yeah, so. we're going to hide this because this is this is not good enough. This is not cozy. And this is a wonderful gift from me. For Monica for yeah. one it's of her birthdays. It's a wine fridge that only houses tonic waters. <laughs> How many? Tonic waters. Oh, tonic, yeah, tonic waters. How many? I thought you said 20 bottles. <laughs> <laughs> no, tonic waters. <laughs> Big, but, a little light here. Yeah. So with the samples I actually forgot, but I did uh, throw a lot of them out. So I went through all of them. I actually forgot that I did this. And I threw out uh, ones that I didn't like and then kept the ones that I did like and also wrote them all in a list to my computer so I know what samples I have so that I can like search for them. So actually this is already sorted out, which makes me happy. I forgot that I sorted my samples out. <laughs> so now you're in my wardrobe room. Uh, I thought it would just be easier to do this little thing here so i am uh, trying to organize my thoughts for the new year and i know like as i've said january can be a bit overwhelming and one thing that i want to touch on is that yeah i think social media although i love social media and i'm part of it i think it can be a bit toxic in regards to being productive like when we go on instagram or social media in general we see the good things that people put out so they're doing stuff all the time somebody's releasing a book somebody is on holiday somebody um, is having a child somebody uh, is launching their fourth business somebody you know everything seems like everybody's so productive everybody has such great large lives uh, and I think it can be toxic around January it can be a bit toxic um, with regards to you have to now uh, achieve this this year have an amazing body eat healthily um, reach all of your goals and all this pressure I think it's a bit too much and that is not how most of us live our de everyday lives it's not something that is even healthy to have that many goals because we we don't have infinite number of hours in a day so if you're feeling like that a bit overwhelmed like everybody out there is having great success is doing so many things and you're just sitting there and thinking wow like feeling bad like um, i should be doing more and maybe it's if it's like a tiny thing like oh i should be doing this or that then it might be a healthy little nut but if it's too much don't feel bad because not everybody is destined to be the next mark zuckerberg and not everybody would do well in that role actually like we're not all the same we're not all wanting the same things and not all those great things like we're being told that success is always a great thing uh it might actually not be a great thing for you personally you might not want to own a business for example because that is not your personality you would hate it actually or you might not want a family because you actually wouldn't enjoy it it's you know it's personal to you so don't feel overwhelmed and i think i used to be the person that would always have so many plans i would work seven days a week i never took holidays 
I still kind of don't, but <laughs> that's something I want to work on that. And it's on my board of like inspiration for the year, but I'm not being so set on my goals. I'm not numbers driven anymore because I think that is too much pressure and there's stuff that I cannot physically control. But what I can control or, you know, want, I can put on paper. And what I've done this year is actually got on Canva. So I'll show you a little bit. So here it's my little board for the year. So I'm very loosely putting things on here that I want. And it's nice because you've got different templates and you can put your own photos into it. So I would like a um, update home dec decor, for example. That is something in our office. I want to make a home cozier, a bit more inviting. Um, we've had loads of our furniture pieces for ages. So I want to just change it up a little bit and also invest in high quality uh, furniture pieces. So buy only things I love or that will last forever. So I'm not in any rush, just loosely there. French Riviera. <laughs> so this is the part of, um, this is where the part goes uh, about me taking holidays because every single time me and Mati plan holidays, we never do it. Like it's too overwhelming and uh, we just hate planning it. And the other thing is that we're both savers. We like to save money and we don't like to spend depend on um, traveling because it stresses us out but then when we go somewhere <laughs> we usually make it a work trip or but we do enjoy it so we love France in general I used to live in well we used to live in France and we just love the French Riviera so that is one of our dreams to spend more time there we love it there so this year for the summer period we want to already plan something to go and force ourselves to take some time there and stay there for a few weeks maybe take moshi with us and just really enjoy it so that is our plan <laughs> next up it's a mini kelly in black that's on my wish list i really want it and or a black birkin which is also here i love Hermes bags i love how um you can repair them so you can have them for years and then just send them off to a Hermes spa um, I think that is what luxury should be. Bible reading, I want to uh, focus a bit more on Bible reading, like taking a bit more time for myself and doing it. Uh, and that is the year for that. And also here is a picture of this lady with a Birkin. Um, I want to really just wear white a bit more <laughs> because I wear black so much. So that is why I've put it here and a Cartier Love bracelet. So this is some of the things I've put on here. I'll put a few more, I think, but everything is kind of just, if it happens, it happens. It's a little thing. It's nothing big. I'm just over this whole like putting pressure on myself, just being like, go, go, go. If it happens, happens if it doesn't it doesn't i've been so driven for so long now it's time to kind of chill out and just be happy because i really found myself enjoying everyday life i love just routines um just really simple life i don't like events which i get to attend sometimes as a creator but i don't enjoy this sort of a setting so if i can turn it down i from now i just started just this year i'll be turning down more and <laughs> different events and stuff like that because i just don't it doesn't make me happy it, it just draws energy out of me i'm very introverted i just don't like it so that's what i found for myself i know that some people might enjoy it but i'm trying to just find out how I feel in different settings and just sometimes put myself, sometimes not. So that is one of the things that it, this year will uh, change, definitely. I, of course, want to post more on this channel. And um, I think I really love connecting with you on here through YouTube in this like super introverted way because <laughs> I get to do it through a camera. But I love finding people that have similar interest to me. I love luxury. I have always loved luxury. And it is funny because none of my family were into it and they were always like baffled. Like, what are you doing? My family isn't rich or anything, but 
they always were like why are you so into it why do you love researching stuff about it and so that is why i love being on here because i get to speak to you guys who are into perfume and into luxury so i loved uh, i would love this year and i'm planning to vlog more in this sort of format and hopefully take you on some trips as well another thing that also i'm going to put on here is that with the cost of living crisis and everything i am somebody who really enjoys feeling secure and safe that is what i found out some people are a bit more they don't mind i don't know using credit cards or uh, just living a bit larger than that means <laughs> most you keep coming here you so because i found that i like feeling feeling safe financially uh, i want to focus also this year on spending money yes i like spending money on uh, stuff that i really love like we i have to love it for years and years and like be obsessing over it and i will spend money on that stuff but i will stop myself every time i want to spend um stuff on like stupid little stuff and put that towards paying down the mortgage as quickly as i can <laughs> on this house so that is what i want to do because that is like i think a good goal to have because the sooner mortgage is paid off the sooner i can be a bit more free to also travel and spend time in different places it will take probably absolutely ages but i think it's a good thing to keep in mind because with interest rates and everything i just hate paying interest and mortgage obviously charges you a lot of interest every single month so that is what i want to focus on this year that is i know something that probably i don't talk about on this channel but i'm passionate about this topic as well like being good with your finances responsible so that is what i'm definitely going to do this year and the last thing that i also you can see a theme here i'm trying to uh, really think about how i like to live my life and then not feel the pressure to live it like somebody else's or just really feeling what i like and um i find found out last year a lot that many beauty products if i have many beauty products in my uh, drawer or collection or skincare even i absolutely hate it or hair care i like just having two products three products just really streamlining everything otherwise i get anxiety the only thing that i love a lot of is <laughs> perfume but other stuff i hate it so i'm going to declutter my beauty collection and really just keep everything streamlined and um i only just one in one out sort of a thing i do have some pr packages that come sometimes but the good thing is now i've asked to say like if i approve it or not if i want it or not because i would because i would rather this package to go to somebody who really loves it than me who like i love some products but i know what i love and some i just don't so that's what i'm going to do this year really just streamline everything so that it is a bit more manageable because i hate clutter <laughs> On this note, I wish you a happy 2023. I hope that you can also just write down some thoughts uh, and uh, just see what kind of you want to have or like make changes, what kind of changes you want to make in 2023. And I'll see you in the next perfume video. Bye for now.